Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial on AR Core and this one is going to be on we're going to be focusing on, it's going to be a quick one, it should be just about a little bit about debugging and we're going to be using something called Instant Preview which has just come out recently on the latest AR Core version which is version 1.1 uh, so that has uh, Instant Preview on it, now there are some limitations on it for example, you can't cl click on the um, UI and stuff like that, but I'll, I'll go into that in, in, in a second. First of all, let me just say a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel with the likes, the comments, the subscribers, the new ones, welcome as well, and everyone else who's been sharing the videos. I appreciate you for taking the time to do that. Now, I know it's been a while since I've been, you know, since I've done a video. I was supposed to say this in the last video, but still, I thank you for those people who have been to writing the uh, positive uh, comments and stuff. Uh, it means a lot. So, yeah, so what, what is Instant Preview? I hear you asking me. <laughs> well, Instant Preview allows you to connect your phone to the Uni Unity editor, and when you hit play, instead of the game window showing this scene window for the camera, it now will connect to your phone and it will show the phone view. Now, that's really powerful. Um, on some levels it's really super powerful because it means you don't have to keep on building every time you want to see what's on your phone however having said that it's not perfect it's a little bit slow um, it doesn't look that great on the phone I mean it's okay looking for the editor but it's not perfect looking and there's a few limitations that are here that they've thankfully they've pointed out um, if I just click on this close this one down you have some limitations like uh, if the game pauses or app pauses you'll lose the session uh, which is a bit of a shame there's stuff like multiple uh, taps on the screen, touches on the screen won't, might not get processed so think about stuff like uh, pinch zoom maybe might not work which is usually quite good for AR Core um, and then you've got stuff like Unity, this isn't that big, the Unity editor uh, so, okay, I guess in some ways it's, it's, it's really important to know. When you're tapping on your phone screen, that will work. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll press play here just to get you into what I'm doing here. If I press play, it should now connect to my phone. I believe it's also installed the Instant Preview app on my phone if you don't have it. Um, so now you can see here, usually I have to use a separate window, but now I don't have to do that. Um, so when I move my phone screen, it moves this screen, which is great. And I can tap on the screen. On my, I'm not tapping on the Unity editor screen. If I tap there with my mouse, nothing happens. I still have to use a mouse click, right? But, now here's the thing. The mouse, so my, <laughs> got to be careful how I say this. The touch screen import that I use using my fingers on my phone works to place the uh, Andy prefab so that works great now if I had some U UI here some UI buttons where I'm moving my mouse and I try to tap on them with my, my on my phone using my thumb like I am now with my the, the Andy prefab they would not work on the mobile screen nothing would happen they only work, an icon, a UI icon would only work if I use the mouse. Um, now that's important to know, so you can't just use your phone and you can't just use a Unity editor. You're basically using both now. So here's a bit of a limitation, it's something to be aware of, right? Now, as you can see in the console, I've got some debug statements that I've just done. Super easy debug statement. I've just had an update method, it's just printing out a number time and, and adding one to every every frame but I just want to show you that debugging works in, in, in using instant preview and I believe that that's a instant preview is a pretty good way to debug um, your, your, your code and a really quick way of doing it I'm not saying it's perfect I still think the best way is to build onto your phone but this is a, an extra way of doing it and I think it should help a lot of you who have said you're having issues with debugging. Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, also, <laughs> there is an instant preview page that you take a look at, which is how you get your phone ready. 
you need a daydream ready phone which is probably what you have since you're using AR Core um, you need the instant preview app on your phone so I have it on my phone from when I was doing daydream development um, if you don't have it I believe it automatically installs it on there um, because it's yet yeah, in the right okay so there's a prefab called the GVR instant preview main which automatically installs it now none of you I believe will be using that if you're only using AR core because um, you don't you, you're not using you're not doing VR development right you just we're just using AR core here at the moment which is fine so what I recommend you do is oh, also sorry there's a this error comes up here just ignore this I think this is just a do instant preview um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that so if you don't if you don't have instant preview if you Google if you search it Google it if you search it here in this bar you will get um, it will show you where it's stored so you can see instant preview is now stored in Google AR core SDK instant preview um, instant preview and then what was it in scripts there we go instant preview so if you go to that folder where you installed your Google AR core you should be able to take this APK send it to your phone via like email or something and then install it onto your phone and then you have you de you'll definitely have it then um, so that's how you get instant preview on your phone and I think that's an important thing to know also there's a few settings that you might want to try out um, so I tried one of these just to um, so you can stream it over Wi-Fi. I haven't tried that myself. Uh, I believe there's a performance tip. I've tried this as well. If you go to edit project settings, edit project settings. Was it quality? Did I get that right? Wrong? I don't know. Let's have a look at that. Um, yep, quality. And then you go to other. And then VSync, so other, and then VSync. You want to have it as don't sync. It's probably going to be in one of these ones. I've already changed it to don't sync, and that should improve the performance. It's not going to be brilliant though. Um, there's a few other things you can do here as well, but um, I've also changed my to HDG, HVGA portrait. I think it runs a little bit smoother than that as well. But um, play around with it. Let me know if you. I'm sure as a lot of you have already shown me a lot of you've tried things out yourself I'm, I love seeing that so if you if you if you have any advice if you try it instant preview out and you notice something that I've missed leave a comment I'll um, I'll definitely reply and point it out to other people as well um, so look I hope this helped you uh, instant preview instant preview I think everyone should be trying out at least and I think it should help out those who are having issues with debugging as well um, so I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video